What if there were a toy store for dads? There is. Or at least there was. There was this. There was this. But we can't have nice things. My toy store sometimes looks like this, but it's when I need glue or some paint or some sealer or something for my toys. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. As always, I'm Robo, and I know what you're thinking. It's Tuesday, what the hell are you doing? Technically, it is Monday. I'm recording this uh, as I'm prepping, as I'm getting ready to head out the door, but I looked down and I thought, oh, there's quite a bit of news. Let's go ahead and do this. That way it's not just left hanging. Even though weekly in the middle of the week feels super weird, but technically, it's a new week, so that's what I'm sticking with. So let's chitty chitty chat about some Good Smile Company, some Beast Kingdom, some Mezco, some Storm Collectibles, and then of course a shitload of Marvel Legends again. Good Smile Company has solicited another figure in their Table Museum series and that's essentially you know statues that they turn into action figures that make amazing looking action figures. And the newest addition would be Winged Victory of Samothrace. I'm sure I said that wrong. Every week there seems to be a different language that just... <laughs> Looking very cool. This is another one of those lines that I've admired from afar. All this time I thought, man, that's that looks great. Even if it wasn't articulated, which <laughs> I buy toys, so I want a little bit of articulation, but these look great as just standalone pieces. In fact, I just remembered that I did get the angels and never opened them. I guess I'm kind of afraid of reviewing figures with penises. But even though the lower part of this statue looks like it's not artic- there's joints in there. It, it actually becomes legs. Not exactly traditional legs. It doesn't quite have feet, at least on one side. But the robes get up out of the way, they come around, the wings look great. But it has a separate torso option where you can put the arms and the head from Venus to Milo, which was an earlier figure in the series. You taking a page out of Metacom's book there, Good Smile? But this will be $44 and it releases in December. Beast Kingdom has been producing an 8 inch scale line of superheroes and such. I haven't paid much attention to it because I stick to the 6 inch. But this caught my eye this morning so I thought I'd chat just a little bit about it. I'm not just throwing it in there to fill out time. <laughs> but I'm honestly truly enamored with the color schemes that they're putting on their San Diego exclusive Batman vs Superman figures. Like I said, 8 inch scale uh, movie costumes but they're putting them in classic comic colors. Superman with the light blues, the red, just looks great. Same with... Well, well, Batman doesn't work quite as well. You go for the light blue and the gray on Batman and you automatically expect kind of a, a more classic look, but it's definitely the bigger eyes that look from the movie. And then there's classic comic colored Wonder Woman. The silvers, the golds, the red. I just, like I said, I wish somebody would do this in a smaller scale, more, what I like. Now I didn't see any prices on this. This was just announced today. I'm sure the prices will come along, but like I said, San Diego exclusive. Today, Mezco solicited their 112th collective Dawn of the Dead flyboy and plaid shirt zombie two pack. We've been seeing these guys forever and it's actually kind of surprised me that they're putting them out. I don't know the fan demand for these. I, maybe there is. I, I'm sure there's a Dawn of the Dead crowd or a zombie crowd. I, I'm kind of after them, but at the same time, I gotta stick with superheroes. If Mezco ever does a Star Wars line, I am up shit creek. But it's $130 for both figures and the only accessory is a pistol and their stands. So. Not a lot here, but <laughs> the movie didn't really give them a lot to work with when it comes to this. And that should release somewhere January to March next year. As I was setting up the lighting and the microphone and all that for this, I scrolled through Facebook one more time and I saw that Storm Collectibles has announced their San Diego exclusive. And that would be the Mortal Kombat Ermac. Yeah, it's just another ninja, another different color, but... <laughs> It, that's the kind of thing that that's the whole draw for that and it's not like they've only released ninjas in different colors and you were sitting here wondering when are they gonna put out more bodies when are they gonna do different characters they've been you know kind of throwing in different characters in between so it hasn't been just ninja 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 ninja, ninja, ninja. that's hard to say really quick at the moment all there is is this picture again more information as it comes out I talked about this last week you know <laughs> when I recorded the last weekly so so far long ago Three days ago. But here's a higher res shot of the GameStop exclusive Marvel Legends Gamerverse Spider-Man. This is based on the PS4 game. He's got the white. I agree with a lot of you saying that it shouldn't just be a paint job. There should have been seam lines and all that, but at the same time, this is an exclusive. They usually go, uh, here it is. 
throw it out there, and the exclusiveness is what actually sells the figure most of the time. GameStop wants something cheap, easy, throw out there, and get foot traffic into the store, and, and, and this'll do it. It'll cost $22.99, and it'll, it actually does release December 30th, so we got a long time to wait for this one. Last week, I also talked about the SP slash slash DR wave of Spider-Man Legends hitting the UK, and we're seeing a lot of reviews of those, seeing a lot of nice pictures, but we also have retail promotional images. So that means pre-order should be up. Is the plane gonna crash into me? Well, that should mean pre-orders are gonna go up soon for those of us in the rest of the world. If you want a closer look at those, those are all up on the Foosh front page. I'm not gonna go through each one individually because we know what the wave is. We've seen pretty pictures. I'm just mentioning that Hopefully soon we'll be able to pre-order it. Speaking of Marvel Legends leaking out in other places, at Asia Comic Con apparently the Venom Legends series has popped up or leaked out or somebody was selling them. And mm, it's Venom. I was never a huge uh, other than Venom and Carnage and even I don't know a lot of Carnage, but that was high school time. <laughs> you know, I was I was finding other stuff before I came back around and realized, hey, comic books are cool, what the hell am I doing? So I haven't had my eye on the Venom series, plus we have like 16 waves before we even get to the Venom series. But seeing pictures of these are cool, and especially the packaging, I love, love, love the white packaging. Yeah, the usual Marvel Legends packaging is black and then you have the white details on it. Reversing that is very, very eye-catching. When these, or well, hopefully if these ever hit retail, you'll be able to zzz, Venom Legends right down there. We also get a closer look at the loose figure of the monster Venom Build-A-Figure. Looking big, looking buff, looking intimidating. It's going to take up a lot of real estate on the shelf, looks like. But, you know, Monster Venom. And then finally, retailers are also getting promotional shots of the Marvel Legends the first 10 years. Not wave, but just figures that's going randomly out. Don't have all the pictures because not all the retailers are getting all the figures. So online... We're getting most of them, but I, I I think there's some that are exclusive. The Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket pack, we, we so, so needed Yellow Jacket. That works out perfectly. Ant-Man comes with an alternate Paul Rudd head that's more serious than the one we got in the Avengers Wave. Well, it's hitting right now, too. I haven't got it either. The Infinity War 3 pack with Iron Man Mark 50, the Thanos with two different heads and a different a glove sculpt, and then a better looking Doctor Strange. I wasn't really looking forward to it, but the bigger the pictures get, the more details we get. Damn it. I'm gonna need the Captain America and Crossbones 2-pack just because it's Captain America and Crossbones. The Hulk and Hulkbuster 2-pack, I'm not quite sure about yet. I have the Hulkbuster. If I if I want it better, I'll throw a paint job on it. The Hulk, I like the chest hair. I like the red around the eyes where he got Scarlet Witched. But I don't know if that's enough to make me buy another whole pack. <laughs> I say as I'm looking for pre-orders. <laughs> Iron Man Mark 7 really really needed that also red skull and the alternate hydra soldiers you can make out of that pack i i look at it and i think i only need one of those maybe two maybe 200 ronin finally a villain that we can put with guardians of the galaxy that's not named ego thor and sif man we have a lot of thors but i need the sif so here we go <laughs> you got me and then tony stark and the mark one iron man <sighs> I'm kind of into it. I, I'm interested in the Tony Stark head, maybe the suited body, but that re-release of the old, old Mark I Iron Man, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. But again, pre-order, pre-order, pre-order. So a little faster than usual. Like I said, I'm still packing, I'm still getting ready, and then I'm out the door for two weeks. I've got a couple of reviews in the queue. I, I, I'll sh throw those up, well, one up at the end of the week one next week that way it's not totally dead on the channel but i'm also going to announce the winners of well i'm going to pick the winners hopefully this will work if not i'll cut all this out and then i'll just say the winners here in a minute but i've got all the comments queued up i already did a search for a frieza uh 221 entries good god so i'm just gonna hold that down for a minute and then we're just gonna chat we'll see where it goes round and round and round it goes stop Godzilla King of Monsters. Then I'll do a search for Hey Hachi. 162 entries. So I'm gonna hold that. Let it scroll through. Let it go. Remember the review for the old man Luke, the, the last Jedi Luke SH figure arts figure I did? And I talked about fighting the snakes down where I took the outside pictures. I walked to the mailbox the next day and yeah, there was a big ass snake just laying there like, hey, where were you yesterday? Nope. Not again. Not till winter time. Stop. Oh, it's still going. 
Uh, Donald O'Leary. Then we'll search for Flash. 304 entries. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's hold that for a minute. So you guys having a good week? Cool. Yeah. Like I said, I'm out for two weeks after this. I'll announce the winners. I'll, I'll message you. You can hit me with the addresses, but your stuff won't go out for two weeks. I'm sorry, but that's out of town. What can I do? But you get your stuff. Don't worry about it. Stop. The Elder. So there you go. Like I said, a couple of reviews, but don't be looking for anything on this channel for a couple weeks. I know I keep saying that over and over, but it makes me sad. I've gotten used to this. I, I enjoy doing this, you know? Talking to y'all in the comments, blabbing about toys. I, I just, but I also like going to conventions. I like working there, hanging out, meeting some of you guys in person. So if you like this Foosh Weekly, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.